Today, we're making the drive to the Angeles National Forest to check out the snow from the weekend storm. Rain in the valley usually means snow in the mountains, especially during these winter months. It's about a 40 minute drive to the Angeles National Forest, located in the San Gabriel and Sierra Paluna Mountains in LA County. Before we head up, I'll need some lunch, and today I'm craving some Chick-fil-A. You know, it might be time to ask them for a sponsorship. Could go for some free nuggets. So we're uh, about to head up to Angeles National Forest. We're gonna check out some snow. Um, got a lot of rain and snow over the last couple days, so um, we're gonna go. I'm supposed to go somewhere else today, but um, it's kind of far. So Angeles Forest is about 45 minute drive, so we can do that instead. But in the meantime, we are getting lunch. Chick-fil-A, can't go wrong. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna taste delicious. And it's gonna be some nice fuel before we head up. So yeah, we're gonna get this grub, we're gonna grub out, and then we're gonna hit the road. The food's been picked up and now it's time to pick up a friend and we'll make our way to Angeles. I guess I'll pull off here underneath this tree. Here I can eat my chicken sandwich while I wait for my friend to show up. The next part of the trip takes us on to California State Route 2, which is also known as the Angeles Crest Scenic Byway. Route 2 starts in Santa Monica and stretches northeast into and through the Angeles National Forest. Over 80 miles of the highway carves through the mountainous terrain, and it's actually eligible to be included in the state scenic highway system.
Established in 1908, Angeles National Forest measures over 650,000 acres, with elevations ranging from 1,200 to over 10,000 feet. The forest boasts over 500 miles of both hiking and equestrian trails, and it also includes 176 miles of the Pacific Crest Trails which stretches from the tip of California all the way up into Canada. Now let's sit back and enjoy this beautiful ride through the mountains. Well, at this point, I've realized they've made a huge mistake. I didn't fill up my tank before going on a long ride through the mountains. And we don't want to risk getting stuck up there without any way to get down, so I guess we'll have to turn around and fill her up. I'll see when we get back. It's not just LA traffic that seems to be getting back to normal. Seems like our gas prices are too. Well, I guess we'll just head up the mountain and try to see some snow. Well, as you can see, it is really busy up here. Well, I guess it is a Saturday and we did get some snow, but I have never seen it this crowded with this many cars up here before. Seeing snow is kind of an event down here in Southern California. You know, seeing as how we don't get much snow at all. Great, more traffic. Man, this is really turning out to be a pain. But at least we got to see some of the snow we drove all the way up here for. After sitting in this line of cars for who knows how long, I decided to throw in the towel and turn around. It's really a shame it was so busy, but honestly, I probably should have realized this beforehand. I mean, it is a weekend and we did just get snow. I guess I'll have to plan it better out next time. Here's one final look at the snow as we head on back down. The snow trip didn't work out, but there's a lot to do here in Southern California. We're heading north on Interstate 5 towards Santa Clarita to find a new adventure. We 
We decided to check out Lake Castaic, which is north of Santa Clarita. I thought there would be a chance we could see some snow heading up the freeway, but it looks like the snow didn't make it to these lower elevations. Such a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Now this looks like a great spot to pull over. Let's get out of the car, stretch our legs, and take a look around. This is the uh, Lake Hughes Castaic Center. I don't know what it's called, but got a cool little lake down here. Let's go check it out. I'm not sure what this pillar is, but you can use it as an art board, I guess. LA Dodgers World Series Champions 2020. Yeah, so this is uh, right near Lake Castaic, a um, little bit north of Santa Clarita. Obviously, the snow didn't work out, so um, we're just doing a drive around, see if we can find something cool to look at. So, um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Nice little lake behind us, as you can see. Um, yeah, so that's what happens, you know. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. This overlook actually oversees the Castaic Lake State Recreation Area. There are actually two bodies of water, one called the upper lake and the other the lower lake, naturally. Here you can fish, camp, hike, and do all sorts of outdoorsy things. Honestly, I'm not sure how I never knew about this place before, but hey, I guess it pays to do some adventuring and looking around your own backyard. up here on the lake I guess it's more of a lagoon than a lake but they call it like Lake Castig it's pretty nice to have uh, beaches on the other side so I am renting the van again but two weekends from now so this actually might be a pretty cool spot to camp for a night so I'm gonna add this to my list and it's pretty close to home so it's not too far but it would be really nice to just be able to set out I think the RV site's a little bit down there, so yeah, be close by, right on the lake. It'd be fun. I think I might try to do this. I don't know if there's a lot of hiking trails, but it's pretty nice. beautiful day be a lot of fun to take a, a boat out there on the lake lagoon whatever it may be I think it's a lagoon So that was the uh, little lagoon. We're gonna head up the street and see what else we can find.
I tell you what, California can be really beautiful. Just look at the lakes here to the left and all the mountains out in the distance. It's picture perfect if you ask me. And here we are at the entrance to the actual recreation area. Entrance fee is $11 a car, a little steep for me, especially seeing as how it closes in an hour. And we don't have a boat anyway, but let's go in and make the most of it, why don't we? We've made it to the real Castaic Lake recreation area. That other place was just a lagoon, but um, you want to see the lake? Here it is. Concrete parking spot. Just kidding. This is also my first time taking my new GoPro out for a spin. And I heard the slow motion effect is pretty cool. So let's go here to the bank of the lake and give it a whirl, why don't we? It looked like it turned out pretty good. Don't worry, next time we'll try to take some more interesting videos. In slow motion. Yeah, so this looks like a uh, big spot for fishermen, women, fisher people, and boats, neither of which we have, so we're not gonna do either of those things today. But um, it's a nice little spot. It's 11 bucks to get in, uh, closes in an hour. Thought there'd be some hiking and stuff, but it, there isn't, but it's still pretty nice to kind of come in around and see the lake and I don't know, it's a nice little breeze. It's pretty cool, it's a nice spot. Again, the campsite is like right down the street too. So this is probably like two minutes away. Um, so it's a great place to come hang out and uh, I don't know, camp, park for the night, pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'll definitely have to come back here again for sure. Um, maybe someday if I have a boat, or at least get a friend with the boat. this is sand down here but it's actually gravel from back there it kind of looks like sand but it's not so at least you have good footing so i guess that's cool but it's interesting it's kind of cut out um the way it is you can see like these little steps so it's pretty interesting pretty cool what they can do around these lakes and obviously this is a man-made lake i think there's a dam on the other side where we were with the lagoon i think that's where this water comes from or the water lagoon comes from i'm not sure so uh, but it's pretty nice like i said if i had a boat come out here
Well, obviously, today didn't turn out exactly the way I had expected. I was hoping to see some snow and get some great winter video, but that just wasn't in the cards. But honestly, it goes to show you that there's always something new to see, if you just take the time to go out and look for it. Well, that's the end of this adventure, but until next time, enjoy the ride back, and have a great night. Take care, everybody. Peace out.